Institute. Our board welcomes you. We all welcome you. Because part of what we do, of course, we talk about ideas and we do music. Because music is part of ideas. It's that which makes you very healthy to have music. So I would like to, oh, I can't talk loud. I've got to go get a microphone. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I'm going to introduce you. First of all, we are doing a major event on the 9th of February uh, in jazz and with one of the best young jazz musicians. He's played at Carnegie Hall and other places named Matthew Whitaker. And if you like jazz, if you don't, you should come. He's fabulous. Now, I'm going to introduce you to the man that has helped in really creating this for us. And Ford Lagerstadt is a professor of music at uh, the Curtis Music School. And some of the most important musicians have been under his guidance there. So I welcome, and Mr. Rubenstein was head of the board there. And we'd like to bring Curtis here. So thank you for coming forward. Well, welcome to everyone this afternoon. Uh, and I, I always have to uh, thank Dale for uh, giving me the opportunity to do this. Um, I met Dale about uh, seven years ago, and um, she said, let's do music. And I said, oh, I would love to, but I will only use Curtis students and Curtis performers. And she said, that's fine. And uh, she said, also, do anything you want. And uh, I don't know whether the rest of the board knew she said that, but uh, <laughs> uh, we're doing this. And uh, so for the past uh, five or six years, we've had concerts in the garden that uh, really focus on uh, high level, uh, ready for career type uh, musicians from the Curtis Institute. And in just a minute, I want Roberta Diaz, who is the president of Curtis, the CEO, to talk a little bit about the nature of the Curtis Institute. Um, so this series really started uh, as an opportunity for uh, students that were in my advanced seminar uh, to come play. And it's grown over the years and reached out to graduates and uh, other people uh, from Curtis that were interested in participating in this uh, program or series. Well, this program represents actually a, a new uh, venture for us because Curtis has a new program which sponsors and supports uh, young artists and they manage them. Well, one of the outstanding new groups that have uh, been under the Curtis umbrella is the Curtis uh, is the Zimbalist Trio. And they're going to talk to you, the trio is going to talk to you about how the name came about. And so this represents a, a new level of uh, engagement between the Kudera Institute and the Curtis Institute. And uh, I want Roberto to say a few words about Curtis and uh, welcome him warmly because uh, he's really responsible for Curtis right now. And also to uh, Mark Rubenstein, uh, who was uh, the former uh, chairman of the board, who's been very, very supportive. And uh, we'd like to continue our participation at Kudera. So, Roberto. Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, wonderful to be with all of you. I have to say that I owe this man a lot. He was my teacher at school at Curtis, and uh, he survived me. Uh, and that's, that's, that's an amazing uh, undertaking right there. So it's great to be with all of you. Um, for those of you who probably don't know too much about Curtis, I can tell you Curtis is about to turn 100 in a couple of years. So the school's been around for a while. Um, the name of the school, Mary Louise Curtis Bach, she came from the family of Curtis Publishing, which was a Philadelphia uh, enterprise. Uh, 
Ladies Home Journal, uh, you know, uh, Saturday Evening Post, uh, so newspapers, magazines, and um, you know, she uh, was very interested in uh, in music and the arts, and it was Leopold Stokowski who was the music director of the Philadelphia Orchestra uh, back in the 1920s that talked to her and said, wouldn't it be wonderful if in the United States we could set up a conservatory which is modeled, if you will, after some of the great European conservatories, St. Petersburg, the Paris Conservatoire, and so forth. And so from the very beginning, Curtis has been a school that uh, every student attends with a full tuition scholarship. So the, the only criteria for a student to be at Curtis is just talent and uh, potential. You know, so how, you know, what kind of potential they have and the level of ability that they've reached. Uh, Curtis has had people like Leonard Bernstein, Samuel Barber, uh, Giancarlo Minotti, and more recently Juan Diego Flores of the uh, Metropolitan Opera, Eric Owens, uh, Alan Gilbert, music director of the New York Harmonic for many years. So the school really has had an incredible impact, if you will, not just uh, in the United States, but around the world uh, in, in the field. So it only has about 150, 160 students, and they come from all over the world. The students really come from all over the world. And we only accept about three to three and a half percent of the applicants to the school. So it is really tough to get into Curtis, and it's incredibly competitive. Um, but it is a school that has uh, done amazing things. It's thriving, and uh, I couldn't be more grateful to everybody who has served and serves on the faculty at school, and also to the board of trustees, which have been unbelievably supportive. So it's great to be here with all of you. I know that you're going to love these guys. They are off the charts great. And it's a wonderful opportunity for me to be the fourth wheel in the group for the second part. <laughs> so enjoy yourselves, and we're thrilled to be here. Thank you. I'm George. I'm from uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, and currently I live in London. I'm Tim. I'm from Greece. And I currently live in Athens. <laughs> I'm Josef Spacek. And I am from Prague, uh, Czech Republic. And I currently live in Prague. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you'll see in your program that we are playing uh, Dvorak's um, Dumki Trio. Um, Dumki is actually the plural of Czech of Dumka, which is a Ukrainian word for thought. And so you'll hear that um, the piece is actually six movements, and each of them is uh, very contrasting. So he'll have very tragic music, and then very happy music, very tragic music, going back and forth. And um, there's a lot of folk feeling in it. There's a lot of uh, real flavor of Bohemia, um, that which I think, uh, you know, Yosef helps us. <coughs> Realize in a big way. So, <laughs> thank you, George. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. 